All right, is it? Okay, is so it up? I think it's up. I think we're up. Let me just check. That's the way to go. I think we're going. I think we're moving. It looks like we are. Let me get rid of this. Just, just making sure I check everything here. Right. Yeah, so we're up. E, E, E. Dave Maniac, how are you? Native Ryan, hello. <laughs> hello, Adam21, fellow Londoner. Huh? You're in London, eh? You're in London, eh? Is that even a London accent? By the way, what accent do you think I have? I was actually sitting there going, do I actually have an accent? I don't know. I don't know, specifically if you're, if you're from the UK, because you can get different ac accents across the whole of the UK. Anyway, let's, let's, let's do some stuff, man. Let's do some stuff. I'm going to just take this chat out quickly so I can see what you guys are saying. Just bear me one moment. Let's get that out here. Move it up there. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. I'm going to check my stream stuff. Make sure. I'm going to test something quickly, so don't be confused. So... I think that's for Twitch, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it notifies me when someone subscribes on YouTube. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think they offer that on Streamlabs, actually, now that I think about it. Right, anyway. Um, let's, 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 let's go and play some stuff, man. I want to play, play some more of that um, Feromosa deck. Like, it's a really fun deck. I really, really enjoy playing it. So I think we're going to do some of that first. Zygarde Control, huh? Oh, give me some more info on that bad boy. I want to see what you're talking about there. Zygarde Control. What's this one? Oh, this is the Rotom one, isn't it? Yeah. Zy what Zygarde? What Zygarde does control? Is it the... Um... Is it Zygarde GX? But yeah, and you put... I, I don't... Actually, I genuinely... I'm not even going to try and figure it out. Let me know, man. Let me know, Adam. I want to know what you're on about. That's quite interesting. Guarantee you it's a deck that's like been out there for a while. <laughs> I'll guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. Zygar GX, yeah, I thought so. So do you put the buff padding on it and then just try and control the game? Is that is that what you do with it? Zorark. Yeah. And Macargo. Right. So does the Zygod sit sit in the active then, I assume? And just kind of tanks damage. I assume that's what it does. And I guess it gets used to use DCE as well, which is kind of cool. So you can do, you can go on the aggressive of it, which is dope. Because I was sitting there, it only has three retreat costs. Oh, so it doesn't use the buff padding. So why is I got then? I'd love to know, man. I'd love to know. Um, Guardian, eh? All right. All right. We got yeah. You can accelerate energy. Oh. Um. Maxwell, how you doing, buddy? How are you doing? How are you doing? I think Zygarde Zorak is dope. Just as like an main and not so... Well, I guess, yeah. So, is, is, is it more of a case of Zygarde being your main attacker? Koza, how you doing? How are you? I hope you're good, man. I hope you're good. So, is it just a case of Zygarde your main attacker? And then you have like Zorak Makargo to kind of just get everything you need to set it up? Or is it... When you say control, are you like getting rid of energy and stuff? Give it one, <laughs> give it a go one day. That's what I'm asking, so I'd love to give it a try. See what's going on. Um, oh my God, it is boiling, Ryan. It is bad. It is bad over here. Today was 33 degrees, which I know to some may be like, oh, that's normal. Um, I was like, oh, okay, God. No, uh, today I've been I've been out actually with a few with a few mates, um, a few parents. So my son spent some time with with one of his best uh, mates as well today. So I've just been spending a bit of time with my son and stuff. Uh, going out, which was really, really nice. Actually, I had a lot, a lot of fun. Actually, um, so that's what I've been doing today. Um, but yeah, I, I've been, I've, I've been playing much RuneScape. Hmm, yeah, a little bit. I mean, today I haven't had really the chance. I played it a little bit today. Um, but uh, let's 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 make a move here. Let's just go for what deck are we up against? They don't play God. They don't play Ace Roller, do they? Um, I'm actually gonna go and retreat into the Jirachi here. <clears throat> 
because I want to set up first, if anything. Okay, Ultra Ball could be good. Ultra Ball could be good. Uh, okay. Hey, Andy, how are you? How are you? Um, Macargo. Oh, is this the Macargo? Are you talking about Macargo GX? Oh, you did say Macargo GX. I thought you were talking about the original Macargo. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? RuneScape, yeah, not been playing too much RuneScape today. Today. Yesterday, I was playing a decent amount of it. Um, trying to get some levels up on that boy. Completely, man. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good day as well, Ryan. Weather is awful. I just got outside in the seat. Don't. I've been out today and I went out wearing jeans. <laughs> they were like, why are you wearing jeans? And I was like, look, it, it didn't feel that bad. But on my way home, oh my God, I stank. I was dripping. Like my back was getting wet. And I'm like, oh, I hated it. Hated it. Yeah, and the original one. Okay, so it's like a, a okay, that's really cool, actually. That sounds really fun. That genuinely sounds fun. I think Zygarde's a bit underrated right now, you know. I mean, it's it's not really going to have much use post-rotation because DCE is going, so you can't really utilize it fully, which is a bit of a shame. But I think Zygarde GX is actually pretty good. It's got high HP. It hits some relevant weaknesses. It can use Fighting Dojo and stuff like that. It could really have a good shout. Um, especially with the new Zygarde that's going to be coming out soon, which I think amplifies the damage of Zygarde GX, am I right? Um, so I think there's that as well. So like you can have some crazy Zygarde de deck in the future, but it'll probably be expanded because, <laughs> yeah, there's not much you can do with no DCE in a Zygarde deck. It's kind of bad. Well, you could actually Welder. That would be interesting. That's that's something. That That's actually something. All right, let's get rid of the... Ooh! We could we could have Guzmas and use Netball, um, but I want to be greedy, so we're gonna be greedy <laughs> and go. For, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the Ferramosa. Maybe I, no, maybe I should have got rid of the Ferramosa and kept the Netball to get the energy. Man, mistakes are being made. King of misplays. Here he comes. Oh lord. Hey, lord. Oh my god. Oh god. This is bad. <laughs> oh god, I made a bad mistake. Um, top top deck energy. Discard it with Mikado GX and attach the energy to Zygarde. Yep, yep, yep. No, I haven't looked at your mail uh, at your at your mail tank world of this. No, actually, and that sounds dope. That genuinely sounds dope. Just by that alone, and I think I did make a fi uh, a mill tank deck a mill tank deck a while ago, and it worked really well. And it seems wow, mill tank that would be a really good deck because world is obviously drawing free cards, and if you play it with Salazzle, then you're drawing free cards. So you're, you're going to give yourself a fat hand, which means you're increasing the odds of you getting your milks, Moomin milks out into your hands and holding them. Instead of shuffling them away with a Cynthia or something. That's kind of dope. I do think it works well with Zorark as well. Because obviously you can trade into them. Um, which is something at, at the very least. But I guess Salazzle will do better there. Um, fighting Belt. What does that do again? Isn't that the one where it reduces an attack by one fighting energy if you're behind on prizes? Is that right? I think that's the one, right? Do you know what I'm like super looking forward to? It is that... Um... Oh, sorry. My headphones going weird. It is the... Um... Silvalli. I am really looking forward to that Silvalli. Silvalli is like one of my favorite Pokemon of Sun and Moon. Like, genuinely. I love it to bits. And I'm sitting here always going, it just looks dope. It, these cards that they've been printing for it, like, it looks really decent. It just isn't special. But now they've reprint, now they've reprinted of, of the Silvalli. That is, well, I say reprinted, but they printed another version, which is dope. And if you don't know what the Silvalli does, oh, what a top deck. If you don't know what the Silvalli does, um, it has Abyssal Hand, which is the ability that thingy had thingy yeah sean good good one that uh auxiliary had ian wallen he has arrived how are you buddy how are you i hope you are well i hope you're probably better off than this uh the way this deck is running currently because i need an energy i don't think i'm gonna get it off this jirachi not gonna lie wow that's bad someone did suggest that i play koga in this deck why are you mad man why are you mad? Did you do your GX attack? And I didn't even realize. Why are you mad? Why are you going to be mad for, bruh? Okay. Uh, we've got Beast Ring in hand, so I don't mind just attacking. I don't want to just hide away every single time. All right. I'm going to take this in case they go for... Do I collect in real life? No. <laughs> yeah, I say that like that because I used to. And I wouldn't mind buying a pack every now and then. I used to collect first, actually, before playing the game. So let me give you a little bit of a, a brief history. Basically, 
this is me just answering a question and really longing it out, so I'm sorry. But let me just summarize it. No, I don't collect anymore. But anyway, a bit of history on that. Uh, it is a fun deck. Thank you, Ian. It is really fun. I really like it. Um, oh, God, here it comes. Here comes the GX attack. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. No, no. They ain't got enough. Sweet. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I keep losing track, and that's just stupid of me. Oh, my God. We survived because of that. Okay, I lost track again. Jesus Christ. I'm stupid. Okay. All right. Brief history time. Now it's, it's story time. Story time. Basically, um, collected Pokemon cards when I was a kid. I'm talking 2000s, early 2000s. I'm talking the EX Crystal Guardians times. That's where I was like, oh, that was my peak when it came to collecting cards. Stopped about a year later. Um, I stopped playing the Pokemon games around Diamond and Pearl. Didn't touch Pokemon for years, like for years. I just, for some reason, I just wasn't interested in it. I think I just was overburnt by how much I was really invested in it when I was younger. Where is my super suit? Now, where's my energies? Like for real, <laughs> my energy just ain't popping out here. They just, it ain't popping. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let me continue. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't touch it until I would say a couple years back when I literally about a month or so before I started making videos of Pokemon on this channel. So it was around the time where I was making Overwatch and Counter-Strike videos. I just was in Primark, which if you don't know, Primark's a UK um, chain where you just buy clothes and stuff. And I just saw some, uh, I think it was promotional Crimson Invasion or promotional burning shadows packs or something um good day good day it is still day it is it is still day even though it's kind of night um hey Fran francisco francesco I, I hope i hope i'm saying your name your name correctly thanks for the compliment man and uh, welcome to the stream if there's any questions or anything feel free to ask buddy um right yeah so where was i yeah, so I, I, saw, I, I found that promotion off and I was like, oh, Pokemon packs. Let's just see where they've gone. Let's see what's going on. Um, and then, yeah, got the packs and I was like, oh, wow, this is actually really dope. And then I started collecting these cool arts because I thought the arts were 10 times better than before, obviously. Um, let me just get myself a Jirachi. No, I want to get Fermosa down. Oh, yeah, we'll get Fermosa because in case we get an energy we can attach and that'll be really useful this time. Um, but yeah, I thought the artwork was, was cool. And then from that point, I started watching PTCG Radio. Obviously, the good old Rothy. I was watching him. Oh, we could double Beast Ring, but then... Well, we don't even have the energy to do that. I only have one in deck. Yeah. And um, I started watching him, and then that's when I started getting really into the, the competitive game. Um, oh, I should Guzma. I really should Guzma. I'm going to Guzma. Yep. We ain't playing games, man. We we out here. Now, oh, I'm so shy of a KO there. I could GX and get 180 on it, but I'm just going to go for this. Yeah. So, yeah, I was watching PTC Radio, really got into the competitive side of the game. And then I started watching um, people like... The first person was Andrew Mahone. I was watching him because I used to watch Darium's Pokemon for their collector's side because I collected, obviously, first for a bit. Um, yeah, so I started watching competitive Pokemon with Andrew Mahomes, and then obviously he had his Tricky Gym channel. And then I went from there to watching things like Dark Integral Gaming and stuff like that. And um, I also watch Omnipoke, which I think is a great YouTuber as well. He's really, very in-depth, and I love that. So I started watching these guys, and I was like, wow, this, this looks genuinely fun. And then when I was watching these guys, I was like, it doesn't really seem like anyone's really tackling the, the rogue decks and the, the, the creative decks that you can have with, uh, with the game. And I was like, okay, maybe I should try to start doing some of that. And that's where it kind of just kicked off. And obviously, I, it was, I wasn't the first one to do it. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's people like, um, well, Dark Integral Gaming, which is uh, obviously someone who was doing that in the first place, right? He was making just rogue decks and different decks constantly. So obviously, I wasn't the first to do it. Don't get me wrong. And of course, you have um, Little Dark Fury as well, who's been doing it for ages. And uh, he's a great YouTuber as well. But yeah, at the time, I was sitting there going... I really want to just do that. So I just went, yeah, okay, I'm doing it. Also, I think we've lost this, I'm afraid. I think a Koga in here would be good. Right. Um, I literally started playing Pokemon on Crimson Invasion. Ah, so you're still quite recent as well then. Uh, now I'm a judge and play tournament also. That is dope. That is dope. Like, I, I commend you for that, buddy. I commend you for that. I'd love to do that stuff. I'm playing Friday nights. So it's really fun. See, I'd love to get to, like, play IRL and go to a tournament and stuff, but there is nothing near me. Nowhere, like... In London, I think there's very few places you can go. And I live on the outskirts of London, so there's not much around me. Thank you, buddy. Well played. 
Much love. Um, yeah. And then within a short amount of time, your content surpasses in quality. I wouldn't go and say that at all. I think everyone has their own. I think I think quality is quite subjective. There are things that are, that are objective, like mic quality, or audio balance, and you know, color correction and all that jazz. Don't get me wrong, but I think everyone has their preference when it comes to style. And I'm trying to. You, you probably noticed in the last video, if you did watch it, I'm trying to change up the style of content a little bit. I want it to be a bit more fun, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not saying my content isn't fun because obviously you have to like your own content if you're going to make it, otherwise it won't work out. But I wanted it to be a bit more energetic. I wanted it to, to have a bit more of a light-hearted side to it. So now I've been trying to edit it a little bit, which takes more time, but I wanted to add a bit of bit of jazz to it as well and try and mix things. Because if you watch my older stuff, before um, I started making Pokemon content, I was like heavy editing, like making these really, really fun and energetic videos. Um, so I want to kind of implement that into Pokemon as well, because I think that there's a space for that and I don't think that's being tackled. So I thought I'd try that. I think the only one that's really doing it well is Max Mofo. Like he's obviously making it really well. He's, he's really mixing comedy with, with Pokemon trading cards and it, it works splendidly. I'd love to try something similar. Obviously not copy him, but rather just take his approach and kind of apply it in my own style. Um, speaking of Donald, I wish he uh, had his old upload schedule. What was his old schedule? I don't even know, you know. I'm not even, I'm not even certain on that. Wait, what happened? Why didn't they KO me? I don't think they could, could they? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think we have any energy. Oh, we have the beast. Oh, the beast. Okay, here we go. We're going to try and find the beast energy. Come on, beast energy. Beast, 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 beast. Ah, no. <laughs> All right. Much love. Maybe they thought they were getting KO'd there. That's a bit strange. Um, yeah, what was the solo upload schedule? London is for carp fishing. <laughs> what? Yeah, that secretary is, is calling your name, my guy. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh. Just play spicy meme decks. <laughs> spicy meme decks are always a bit fun. Always a bit fun. Uh, Max Mofo, yes, he is a massive legend. Massive legend. I'm a big fan of his content. It's just so fun. Now it's like two vids a week. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You know, I'm subscribed to him. And I didn't even notice that. How poor of me. Man, I feel bad. I didn't. I genuinely didn't even notice that. Two vids a week now. He must have taken... There must be something going on. I hope he's all right. Um... Obviously, that is just an assumption of mine. Why don't we try and take the elements of this of this Feromosa deck and implement that into Zerkatry Parasite? Because I think it covers a lot of things that Zerkatry struggled with. And I'd love to just see how it works with just Zerkatry in place. Also, the is issue with Zerkatry is that... I'm spelling it wrong. What makes it quite clunky is the Electro Powers, actually. They make it quite clunky. Uh, that's a bit concerning. Also, you don't get to use Parasect, which is something that you are sacrificing. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try and see if we can boost the consistency of Zerkatry Parasect. We've got to go for it, right? We've got to. All right. Let's see what we can do. So, if we just keep everything as it is, the Beast Rings are not going to be necessary because we don't need to accelerate. We just get some Electro Powers, right? Um, we're going to go for Shrine. We're going to go. For, we're going to go aggressive. So we're going for free Shrine of Punishment, right? Uh, shrine. Oh, Native Ryan. Thank you, man. Why did that not pop up? There it is. There it is. <laughs> Since I couldn't sub someone switch. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Believe it or not, this is going to go down in history because you were my first ever donation. So you hold that title and that title is going to stay with you, buddy. Thank you so much again. <laughs> I know you're trying to sub on Twitch. What was it two days ago? And you're like, just let me take your money. <laughs> All right, right. Let me do this and then let me uh, catch up with you lot. Uh, Beast energy. I do, I do, I do. All right, okay. What are you guys saying? Let me just catch up. I want to do, I want to make sure everyone's heard. Alessandro, how, hi, hi. How? Hi. <laughs> how? <laughs> how are you? How are you, man? Uh, it's a victory. He must, he must have quit. Yeah. Um, I will give that 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 welder that mil, that mill tank welder list. I might try that on your playing your deck series soon as well because it sounds interesting. Also, um, Ryan, that Zygar control deck. If you want to throw that in the Discord and see if I can try it out, I'd love to give that a shot as well. Um, trees and fungus. <laughs> I like that name. What is up, peeps? What is up, peeps? Hello, Edward. How are you? Um, okay, 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 okay. Now we can go for another electro power. I'm scared of Electro Powers in this deck because it's not really... Get rid of Netball, which is, I guess, reducing its consistency and finding energy. 
which could be troublesome. But again, let's not let's not go too too hasty on touching the deck's balance. Because we still want it to work. Um Okay, okay. Do we just go for the fourth? That's reducing setup play. I don't like that. I'd rather go for the fourth nest ball, be honest with you. Um hmm. Uh, B synergy. Uh, have you tried custom catches? Have I tried custom catches? Oh, you could, but that'd be quite hard to obtain. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what's that? Oh, Gary. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. Okay, you used to play cool decks. Just kidding. Oi, don't you start. All right, don't you start. Thank you for the two bucks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. You have the title of the second person that's ever done it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Seriously, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> he's used to play cool decks. Such a trickster, aren't you? Um, Zygarde, not sure what you mean. I haven't built any Zygarde. Am I, am I confusing you with someone? Oh, Adam, sorry. I'm confusing you. Sorry. This is stupid. Right, it was Adam that said it, wasn't it? Yeah, Adam, if you're still there. I'd have to make myself a Discord and send you that. Yeah, thank you. I'm confusing people. This is bad. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, should we give this a try? For the crunky draw, what was you saying? Sorry, let me try custom catchers. Oh, that's true, because Custom Catcher does have that first outcome. That's that's actually very, very true. Oh, okay. I want to give that a shout, but I don't want to heavily hit the consistency. So what we'll do is we'll try this. <gasps> Did I just save that over the... Okay, that's that should that could be salvaged. <laughs> that can be salvaged here, okay? Because, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just salvage that quickly. Let's, yeah, let's just... Yeah, yeah, okay. What was I playing in the last day? <laughs> I just got rid of the... Oh, wait. okay. Do you know what? That doesn't matter. I've got the deck on YouTube. I can just take the list if I need it. <laughs> All right. I accidentally over, over, overwrote the Pharisee deck, but that's fine. Okay, let's go. Um, I'll have to... Yeah. Hello. Ganon. 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 Derp, is it? I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that correctly. See, this, this, is, how, this is how British I am. It is 33 degrees today and I'm drinking tea. I'm not having a cold beverage. Drinking tea, hot tea. I think it was my stepdad that once told me, right? He said, um, like, if, if you drink hot tea on a hot day, it rises your temperature and makes it feel colder. I was like, huh? I don't know if that's true or not. So I was like sitting there going, genuinely confused. I was like, wait, <laughs> actually baffled. Oh, this is a bit weird, this hand. Um, what are you building? I just played that confusing deck. I love that um, Parasite card. Um, this is actually, so this deck now is a deck I made a while ago, but I want to kind of, again, improve its consistency. It's one of the most loved decks on my channel, which is great, um, because it's such a, a card that no one's touched, really. But it is Zerkatry Parasect. It's genuinely a decent card. Um, alright, I don't want to get rid of the Electro Power. Alright, let's go for, <gasps> we've prized two Jirachis. You're having a laugh. You are joking, right? Ha! Huh. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Not good. Um, let's just go for the Cynthia. I think what Zerkatry Parasite was missing is Jirachis, now that I think about it. Um, dad logic. <laughs> Angela, hi, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are well. What deck am I playing? Um, I am playing Zerkatry Parasect, but I'm in an updated version. Um, T. Nice. Yes, very good. Oh, you do have one, Ryan. Go for it, man. Love to see. Like, I love you guys' deck. They, they're so... They're so in the spirit of Rogue, like they're just creative, fun, and uh, really, really interesting, which is why I wanted to do that playing a deck series, because I thought, instead of me taking a deck and touching it up and up, um, uploading the video going, hey, this is someone's idea and I wanted to kind of give it my own touch, I was like, why don't I just take the deck fresh and then just upload it exactly how you've given it to me, so I can obviously show off your skills as well in building, which is something that I think is a really cool idea. To see me playing a pre-release pre would be really cool. Well, what I'll do, obviously I've missed this one. Maybe in the next one, what I'll do is I'll speak to my brother who uh, has played me on the channel before and see if we can go to a pre-release and, and I can I can record that. So that'd be something we could do, definitely. If that's what you want to see. I also want to do tabletop, but that's going to be really hard to organize. Um, you like this deck? Thank you. Thank you. It is, it is it's a fun deck. Ah, <laughs> the throwback. Yes. Yes, the throwback. Will there be Whimsicott tonight? Oh, 
if you if you want me to play it, I don't mind giving that a shout. I love Whimsicott. What road deck are you looking to build post rotation? Oh, see, that's something I haven't really considered. I'll be completely honest. That's going to be a tough one because I don't know how it's going to work with rogue decks. If I'm going to be honest, I mean, there's some decks that could work. You'd have to consider. Okay, let me put it this way. Oh, I think we just won. Yeah, we no. Yeah, we just won. Okay, let me let me just win this game quickly and then I'll I'll get to that. Um, just play this. Do this. And then, bye-bye. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, that's a super tough question. All right. What you have to consider when you're doing road decks, post rotation, I'd say the main goal is what is going to be your Pokemon search. Like, what are you going to use to search stuff out? So, you have your options of, obviously, there's the Pokecom, which is not very consistent. There's, you could use Emolga with Pokecom, which is pretty good. So, you could do that, but then you have to put in at least two or three Emolga in your decks. So you have to consider that. Um, or there are other stuff that have their own searches, right? You can go for um, a Grass-type road deck, which would utilize Grovile for its search, which is something you can do. Um, obviously, there's Psychic with Mysterious Treasure and Dragon with Mysterious Treasure. So there's, there's ways you can go about it, but you don't want to try and make a road deck that is so inconsistent in search because what's going to happen is you're just going to lose to the top tier decks almost every single time like a road deck is meant is meant to challenge these top tier decks at least and try and give them a run a good run for their money right so if you're building a good road deck you want to make sure you have consistent search because the top tier decks will have that 100 percent. so if you're thinking the top tiers like picarom and resharad they have consistent ways of being played so so long as you as long as you find consistent ways of being played then you can definitely try and rival these things lost march yeah lost march Lost March should be. I think Lost March would be good, you know. I think no one's really talking about it. I think it might be, you know. I think it might be. I think it might be decent. I mean, what's making me think it's good is because it does have a lot. It has Emolga, so you can use Emolga with... Um, you can use Emolga with the, the Pokecoms, obviously, which is pretty good. So you can do that. Um, the evolution shouldn't be too much of an issue. You have you have netball, which is something that you can use to find as like a uh, a replacement to your nest balls or whatever, depending on how you get your Pokemon out in Lost March. I don't know if you're going for Elms or nest ball. There's 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 a lot of stuff you can do with Lost March, so maybe. Um, I like Spirit Tomb post rotation. I've been messing around. It's pretty beastly with Elm. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's a shame. It's such a shame that we're losing evolution Eevee to post rotation because like, man. That's just, that's just a big loss in that deck. Uh, Chandelier is cool. Chand Chandelier, sorry. Chandelier. Which one? The one... Which Chandelier? I think there's only one Chandelier, right? Or am I confusing myself? Chandelier's dope. If, it, if it's the one that I'm thinking of. Is there a new one coming out? I don't know. I'm a bit confused. Um, Wilder Stumpfist is also pretty fun. Yep, Wilder Stumpfist is something. Wilder can pretty much cover the issue of DCE going away. But then that, you have to do a Wilder type deck, which is... Very limited. Um, come to uh, Doncaster and play some tabletop. Uh, but out the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking three things. Frost, Lastra, Ginger. Yep. Um, Haxorus and Eels and Moss. I'm not too sure about the other two, actually, because I haven't seen them, so I'm not sure how they work. Pikaron could be cool to see. What, right now? You want to see Pikaron? I don't mind doing Pikaron. It loses DC even Natu. It does, yeah. It does, actually, which is a big deal. But you can, you can weld it with that. Um... Uh, I've not seen a well-performing list post-rotation. The new one in Unified Minds. Oh, no, I don't know. I actually don't know what the new... What does the new one do in Unified Minds? What does it do? I'm not sure. I love a, a Dark Searcher in the format for Zora Ninja. Yeah. I think... I'm not too happy with cards like DCE and Ultra Ball going away. Because they're, they're staples. Like, they're really, really big. They're a big deal. Baby Dactyl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That car, I think that deck will be good. I think Aerodactyl will still be very good because it still holds a lot of its tropes. I think it still holds the use of triple acceleration energy. Um, yeah, and then of course there's the, the the lab. What lab is it? Something lab? The fossil lab or something like that where you can pretty much turn one, search out, I think, two Aerodactyls right away from the bat. That's just, that's crazy. And obviously your turn ends after it, but if you can just get it out turn one, that's that's busted. So I think, I think Aerodactyl is going to be really good in a, a, a really good road deck. Um, but Pokecom and the fact to start with Jirachi and Tomb 
it works since Umbreon is only one attachment. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, don't get me wrong, it would it would still work, but it is just such a shame you're losing it, energy evolution. Um Do you think Blastoise GX is good post rotation? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I think it, it requires a lot of search. You know, double stage two. Hmm, I'm not sure. Hey Glaze, how you doing? How you doing? I'm not sure on Blastoise, you know. I'm not sure. It's the good thing about Blastoise is it's self-sufficient. Once it's set up, it's like great. Right, let me let me just play. I don't know if this Pikachu list is updated. Oh, I think I actually took a Pikachu list from someone a long time ago. So I'd rather play a list that I know is good. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, two seconds. Two seconds. I just want to find a quick Pikachu list here. Is it this one? Nope. Right, now I'm just going to take time looking around. I think it's this one. No, definitely not. No, I just clicked on that one, you idiot. Where's the Pikachu list I made ages ago? Is this it? This is the Pikachu list. Yeah. All right, let's play some Pikachu. Let's do some Pikachu. Um, this is not really updated, though, so bear that in mind. 10 plus, discard the top five cards of your deck. This has 60 damage for each Pokemon you discarded in this way. And then put any of your five. Oh, that's busted. That sounds busted. Um, I was just watching your Pheromosa vid. How did you find it? Sean, hey, we got the same name. Good stuff. Good stuff. I've seen Blastoise's deck that is optimized rotation. Yeah, uh, I think posting a link should be fine. I think that'd be fine by me. You've earned my trust, Ryan, so I think that's cool. But um, I'd love to see how, how it can be optimized. See, that's the thing. I'm not too knowledgeable on the optimization of post rotation and how things work. Um, my main concern is obviously search. But if there's a way to optimize that, that would be good. I've only heard so far the only real resolution for just genuine search in any deck is the Emulgar engine. Um, how do I get so many cards? What, online or just in general, in real life? I'm assuming you mean online, but I don't want to answer this. <laughs> you know, I know. Oh, that's kind of dope. Okay, we're just going to Ultra Ball these two away. We can Nest Ball. Oh, we could get Rayquaza out. Oh, we could just go crazy. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go. We're gonna go crazy. Go stupid. That's what we're gonna do right now. Here we go. Oh wow, that is a ton of energy. <laughs> All right, um, let's nest ball for probably another Jirachi. And I want to use this energy switch, so let's use this. Oh, they just quit right away. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus Prism is kind of being forgotten. With Pokemon Search going, discarding bench Pokemon is more powerful and most decks can run it thanks to Jirachi. Oh, that is so true. The big issue, obviously, is they get to choose what goes away, but even then. So glad Let Loose is gone, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let Loose is a bit of a pain. Like, having to start every turn going, but what do I get Let Loose? <laughs> it's like, it's such a, such a stress. Online, um, so it's, if you don't, I'm quite lucky because I've had a, a lot of people donate some stuff to me to help me build decks. So I'm quite lucky and I'm really grateful for that. But I was in a position you was in as well where I had no cards. I would genuinely say there's the fast route and then there's the slow route. So the fast route you have to pay. So you have to buy codes online, open up packs or buy codes online and just trade for certain decks that you want. And then through time, obviously you'll, you'll build your collection. Or the slower way is just to play on the ladder a lot because you get a lot of rewards from that. Um, and also play in tournaments whenever you get the chance and genuinely try your best to win because when you win, you get more packs. So you can open them up to expand your collection or you can trade them away for certain Pokemon that you need. So that's kind of how you, you build getting so many cards. So if you want to pay, you can just buy the codes. But if you don't want to pay, then you have to go for your uh, your tournaments and your ladders. That's pretty um Pretty much how you going to do it. And by ladder, I mean the um, the versus. The versus ladders. You just play versus constantly. Uh, deck can turn one full blitz. I think so. Yep. How are you doing, Timisk? How are you doing? I think this deck looks to turn one full blitz. Right. Let's get rid of you and you. Considering this doesn't look like a turn one full blitz kind of turn. We could we could be greedy and more shadow. <laughs> should, we, should we do it? Come on, we got the Jirachi up front. Let's just do it. Let's just turn one Marshadow. We're going to go for it. We're going to be greedy. There we go. <laughs> All 
Uh, if Alabadex are going to be as powerful in Worlds as people are predicting, Cyrus could be a tech. Yeah, I think Malamar's going to be crazy good. I'm just going to say that. Like, I think Malamar's going to be too good. Oh, that's a bit of a rough start, actually. All right, let's have a get Lele. <laughs> All right. Let's get Lele. We'll just ditch the switch. We could play another Marshadow, but no. Let's not. Let's not. Let's just guarantee ourselves a Lily here. Um... You can only use Cyrus if you have Metal or Water. Yeah, it'd be a great tech, um, as Glaze suggested. It'd be a great tech in a Jirachi deck because you can have Jirachi active and play it. Right. Uh, I buy codes and I trade for decks I want to play. Yeah, so that might be the best way to go about it, really. Or the fastest way. Um... Buying online codes on eBay, stupid IMO, because there's lots of scams. Yeah, go go on trustworthy sites. I use the um, I think it's a I think they're a YouTube. I think I, I think they're on YouTube, but I use them because they they're like they're instant delivery on the codes. So like you don't have to wait for them to be delivered to you. There's some sites where they get delivered to you, like the physical codes. But I use a site where as soon as I order, they just give you a screen of the code. So I just copy paste and they're done. And that's called the Awesome Couple. That, no sponsorship for anything, obviously. I just like them and I use them and they're trustworthy. So, um, right. Let's. I don't think there's any point in going for Coco here because we don't have any energy to work with it. So I think we just pass. Okay. Is Jirachi broken? Jirachi is broken when used correctly, yes. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a few Jirachis out to really get the best use out of it. It's like just really consistent. Um, right. I'm starting to sweat like crazy, Jesus. Okay, let's just use our noggins here. Something I'm not particularly good at, but let's, let's try. At least they're, they're struggling, which is good. Uh, I guess we can get another Jirachi out. And if we're struggling, we can just let loose. There's the struggle. Time to let loose. Actually, tell a lie. We have one more try. We have one more try. Let's retreat to the Jirachi again. We could Erica, but that's just bad. Like that's just that's just no, no way. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't really need the Ericas right now, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. All right. That's. Should we commit to the... No. That's Lily. Okay. That works. Brilliant Forest. Get rid of this. Get a lightning energy out. And I think that's game, right? That's game right now. Go for this. Dance the Ancients. And just throw that onto this bad boy. And then go for the switch. And then let's get... All right. Sweet. Nice and easy. Nice and easy game there. Just good donk. We're going to even go for the tag bolt. Right. <laughs> that was quick. That let loose just killed them. See, that's 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 the good thing about it going away. I feel sorry for him because that let loose just absolutely smashed him. Right. What have you guys been saying? I keep thinking Taraji is colourless. Nah, nah. <laughs> the Denny's online for like ten bucks, is it? Uh there's one seller that I know is solid and professional, but I still wouldn't recommend it, yeah. You never know really when it comes to eBay sellers, really. Um it doesn't even need to be in the active. Yeah. Oh, wait, like, no. Does it need to... No, I think it needs to be in the active. I think it does. I think there was a misprint on its first set on the... In real life cards that said in play. Let me check it. I want to check Cyrus because I just want to be on the safe side. We'll just go into this Ninja deck. Um, let's find out. There's only one way. Yeah, you're active. So it has to be active. But Jirachi works with that fantastically. Um... It's really funny to see my friends playing Reshirad and Pikachu decks and getting utterly destroyed by my Don Fan. <laughs> Don Fan's dope, man. I wonder if Don Fan's going to have any sort of consistent routes to be played. I think that's a good deck. I'm worried about Sajinja being a headache without Gust. Yeah, that's true. Is Jirachi... Oh, yeah, Lysander Labs. I didn't think that would count. That's true. Jirachi's still in rotation. Yep. Um, what else? What else are you guys saying? Uh, Lysander Labs does not rotate. No, no, no. No. Electro's ability. Electric Swamp. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this, uh, this Pokemon is on your hand, 
and you have at least four lightning energy in play, you may play this Pokemon onto your... Well, I'm assuming you play it onto your bench and then ex accelerate that energy? That's kind of dope. Yeah. Just cra <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ian. Oh, no. Oh, uh, everyone press F. Ian cracked his phone. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Donked, GG. <laughs> uh, what would be the best deck post-rotation? Oh! Why am I rude? I'm sorry. What did I do, Ryan? What did I do? <laughs> um, what would be the best deck post-rotation? Oh, it's either Reshirad, Picarom, or uh, Tina Tags, which is uh, Giratina Malamar. That's my top three, I'd say, decks post-rotation. So... Uh, right. Until November, when Russia runs, never got. Cyrus never got Cyrus never got Eretta because they never reprinted Ultra Prism. Oh wow! Did they not? So did Cyrus? Is Cyrus? That's no. That's that's wrong, right? So don't tell me in the game it's active, but in real life it's not. Don't. That's that's not good at all. Giratina Garchomp. Ooh. <laughs> Rude for Donk in the bulk. Oh, <laughs> I actually thought I did something wrong there. <laughs> All right. Um, man, I have so many decks. I have 657 <laughs> decks. You can see I really go crazy with this stuff, huh? Right, is there anything you guys want to see me play? Anything you guys want to see me play? Turn Metal Resistance, Fighting Weakness, Free Retreat Cost. Uh, oh, if you do, move any Lightning Energy from your bench to this Pokemon attack. 130 damage from Defending Can't Retreat during the next part. Oh, that's pretty decent. That's a pretty good, decent ability. But if opponent sets up to Jinjar, they all attach it right away and not let it get snipped. Yeah. Still says in play. That's crazy. That is crazy. If that's the case, that's just bad. So, well, I guess in that case, if you're doing tournaments and stuff, you just do, you just, you don't test on PTCGO, you just test in real life, which is what most people do anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, the suggestions, every single one is different. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to go through... Okay, what I'll do is I'm probably going to go for the most suggested, which ironically is just one more. It seems like two of you want Whimsicott, one of you wants Venomoth, one of you wants Blounds, Buzzmosa, Miss Magius, Turn 1, Beast Ring, so the Beast deck, any tanky decks. I don't really have any tanky decks. Lucario, Mel Metal. I could build that. Right, I'm going to go for Whimsicott because that seems to be what people want. I say what people want, but two of you over the rest. <laughs> Are you supposed to listen Discord? Sweet, man. I'll, ch I'll check that out. I'll check that out. Thank you. I still need to check out the songs, um, by the way. I do need to check out the the songs, that's for sure. Marowak. Man, you guys you guys want to see a lot of stuff. Right, let's go for... Let's go for Whimsicott. Let's go for Whimsicott. Unbroken Bonds, Marowak. That, I wanted to make a video on that deck, you know. I actually haven't made a Venomoth deck either. I'd love to do that. Right, let's let's play Whimsy. Let's play Whimsy. We'll play Whimsy, and then we'll we'll, we'll probably do another one as well. One of you guys. I'll probably do Venomoth next because it seems to be <laughs> third Whimsy for third for Whimsy coins. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I'll probably do lo um, Thingy next. Venomoth next because it seems like there's two of you that wants to see Venomoth now. We could build that as well. You could help me build that. That'd be fun. Have your say. Have your say. Hey, okay, that's cringy. Yeah. <laughs> so Cyrus has to be played like it does a PTCO, PTCGO. That is the correct way. Maybe I didn't state it correct. I got the Arata, but never got it. Ah, uh, okay. Right, I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. I lost to Yellow Swallow playing Whimsicott in the stream earlier. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> That's a shame. The one time you come up against someone like YouTube and you're like, yeah, let's smash them. Just get destroyed. <laughs> oh, that's what I'd, lo I'd love to play. Like the, what, the one person I really want to play would be um, Andrew Mahone. Like, cause he was this person that, oh wow, that's bad. He, that is bad. He was the person that genuinely got me into the game. So I'd love to play him. But obviously that's, that's a dream. 
that hopefully could be achieved one day. But if not, it is what it is. I still love playing no matter what. Excited to see the wall that the third reverse tag teams will be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, actually. Yeah. I want to see how that turns out. And the artwork in that, in that, uh, on those, the, um, the birds tag team is just insane. Absolutely beautiful artwork. It's, it's just mad. What do you think the new meta will be after rotation? Um, yeah, again, it will be Pika Raw, Meshirad, and Tina tags. Giratina, Malamar, that's what it will be. It will be probably that. There may be a few rogue decks in there. I think you might see a bit of Aerodactyl. Um, you, you probably will see still stuff like Blown, Baby Blown. You'll still see some fire stuff because that's just consistent regardless. Um, oh, we're playing this bad boy, huh? Oh, you rocking this one out. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, let's go for the Elm and get you. You. I'm actually going to go double on the Porygon because I hate them when they take them out. Like if you if you don't if you don't double Porygon you're screwed. So let's just let's just do that while we can. Let's get ourselves. I actually want to attack this turn, so we're gonna get the nine tails. I don't want to just hold off this. I don't want it dying. I don't want it getting KO'd. Although it could next turn, I guess technically. Two item cards. We're gonna go and get ourselves this and a. We don't play switch. Oh yikes. Probably not a choice band. Probably not an ultra ball. Probably a field blower for the hustle belt. Because we're on the hustle. Okay, let's attach. I'm not too sold on that. Because we, I still want to attack next turn. All right, Snowy wins. Oh, I'm amplifying that guy's damage though. Like, damn. Okay, let's put pressure on the on the on the EV. Um. Janine Falar. Oh, Janine Falar's awesome. Hey! Jam ja Jamas How Jamasha. Jamasha, is that your name? Jamasha? <laughs> I'm just butchering people's names. Um it's extremely limited below key balanced meta game. My home lost a game today from illegal plays in his stream today. He still have wished his discard pile. What? Really? <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Stella wishing being like, looking at your Discord pile, like, oh. <laughs> um, that would be funny. <laughs> what do you think with the best Mew Mew partners? Uh, hmm. Mew Mew, I think, hmm. I don't know if Mew Mew is going to be a good deck on its own, right? I mean, is there... Muck's rotating, right? Am I correct? Is Muck rotating? I think it is. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But having an exclusive ability Pokemon can be quite harsh. And I think there are still some ability locks that are going to be quite important. I think Mew Mew is good, but I don't think it's going to be the best solo deck. I think it's going to be a tech card. That's what I think. Or I wouldn't say it's not going to be a good solo deck. I think it's going to be best utilized as a tech card. Like it's going to be great in things like Pika Rom and stuff. Um... Hey, Farhan, how you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Right, you guys are saying a lot, so I'm sorry if I don't get to everything you guys say. Um, Whimsicott Porygon and Z is the only way you should run Whimsicott. No Welders. Welders is interesting, but no, Whimsicott Z is fun. It's fun. It's fun. Mew Mew would be great with Latios, GX, and Malamar, Espeon, and Deoxys. I, I forgot about Espeon and Deoxys. I completely forgot about that. Right. Let's make a move here. We're probably going to go down next turn. Let's be honest. Okay, this is going to be a tough call, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's just go and get stuff going here as consistently as we can. Let's drop a Lele. Go for that. Hopefully hit a Lily. Do I have Lily? I don't even know if I play Lily in this deck. See, this is my problem. I make so many decks, I actually genuinely forget what I put in a lot of decks. So I'm sitting there going, do I have that in this deck? Like, do I have lilies? The next thing I've got Tate and Lies, I'm like, okay, no, I don't. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, I so actually took a lily from his discard pile. Oh, no. Uh. So, wh when he played, was it actually... When you're saying on stream, was it in a tournament? 
It, it sounds like it, considering you said judge. Is there a tournament going on that I don't know? <laughs> Alright. Whenever I play PTC Joe and the timers on my uh my dad says who's boxing then. <laughs> that's a that's a classic dad joke. <laughs> who's boxing then? Ding ding. Alright, uh do we go all out? I say yes, because we have to risk it for a biscuit. It's just it's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Right, let's go for the Cynthia here. Let's do this. Where's their cut? Where's their Whimsy not. Oh god, that's bad. Oh god, that's terrible. <gasps> oh, I feel horrible now after doing that play. Yikes. How old am I? 23. 23, Chris. I'm 23. Um, so many more archetypes are something because it's on GXDX. I'm way more excited about November's set. What's November's set? What's it going to be called? Is that the one that has the uh, the new Sil Valley in it? Because I'm so pumped for that card. That card seems dope. It seems crazy. But I hope, like, I, I watched PTCG Radio's video on it, and he obviously c compared it to the new Zorak, and it is very similar. I hope it doesn't become the new Zorak, because I don't want a format where 70% of the decks are just straight Sil Valley decks, because then the deck's gonna, it's just going to be a bit overused, you know? But at the same time, if it's a good card, it's a good card. It's going to be played. You know, people aren't just going to go no, because they want a varied format. If you, wanna, if you go to a, a tournament then uh, you want to win. So you're going to play the best possible stuff. So that's that's that. Hello, Kevin. Um, hey, buddy. Recently found your channel. You're doing great work. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Seriously. Thank you. You're 23 too. <laughs> thought you were older. No offense. No, I get that a lot, actually. My brother, who's 25, is usually thought, uh, thought to be younger than me. Usually, yeah. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> 25. That's my brother's age. <laughs> that new Valley is great. Yeah. It looks amazing. It looks awesome. Genuinely. And I just I just want it to myself. <laughs> Being selfish. Alright. Do we toy box GX? No. We are not. We're just gonna go in and probably lose. Um It might be as good as a tech for some decks, a tag team GX that gives up free prizes is not good. Yeah. It's not as good as Zorak due to lack of DCE AC roller. But it definitely will be a great card in a lot of decks. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I think if, if that Sylvalli existed um, now with the likes of DCE and Acerola, it would just, just be as good as Zorak. Because obviously you could use it, your... I'm going to call it Abyssal Hand. I don't know what the ability is actually called, but I'm just going to call it Abyssal Hand. You could use your Abyssal Hand, Acerola, thin your hand down, use your Abyssal Hand again, drop a Dedenne GX. <laughs> it's just stupid. You could go crazy. You go crazy, go stupid. Um. <laughs> so what does the new Silvalli sort of do? So um, it does pretty much Abyssal Hand from the uh, Octillery that existed before. If you don't know what that is, it is once during your turn before you attack, you may draw until you have five cards in your hand. Um, and then its main attack, I think, is 50 plus 70 if you play the supporter. So 120 for a DCE. Zorok. I don't know what its GX attack is, though. I don't, but it's also a DCE. Someone did ask earlier. Sorry, I did. I did see it. I didn't respond. Um, if I'm if I'm going to be streaming on Twitch again, I mean, I do stream on Twitch, but I don't do Pokemon on Twitch. I do other stuff, mainly Runescape, mainly Runescape, because I love that game now. Okay, we have gone down yet again. Thankfully, our Z is still alive. Let's just keep this rolling. What set? I think it's all about the November set, right? Do we need to field blow? No, we don't. But we do need to get another... <gasps> Stop it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Ditto. Fine. So the new hat store is... What does it do? What does it do? I'm, in I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. DCE does rotate. Yep. So you can't use DCE on the new Savali, which is a shame. But you can still use Triple Acceleration and Welder if you really want to. So it still will be good, but it just won't be, you know, as good. Alola Ninetales GX attack. Uh, that would have to do that. Wait, are you, oh, you talking about something different? <laughs> Sorry. I'm invading on conversations here. Uh, oh, hey, Koza. You're back, you're back. Good to see you back, buddy. Good to see you back. So, Valley is stupid good uh, because Auxiliary, 
Um, and I think it will dominate everything, hitting weakness and all tag teams with the right memory. Yeah, there's going to be just a straight Silver Valley deck that's just going to hit everything. <laughs> um, if that's the case, though, fighting is just going to come back in like crazy, you know, because if you have a format with Silver Valley dominating and you have a format with Picron dominating, you're going you're gonna to use fighting Pokemon, like for real, man. Like, I think there's one deck that would really do well in post-rotation, and I think that's the Hitmonchan deck. I think that would do really well, personally, if it has consistency in, in, in Poker Search and stuff, because if you're, if you're hitting a lot of stuff of weakness, that's good stuff, man. That's good. That's good. Reshram and Zekrom <clears throat> tag team will take over the meta come November. Everything until then is just pointless to debate over, in my, in my opinion. I'm not too sure. I'm not too educated enough to know when it comes to what cards are coming out and stuff. But that's something I wouldn't really enjoy, personally. I'd say I'm not a big fan of a format becoming so limited to almost one deck, you know? Like, when the Buzzwell format was happening and everyone's like, oh my god, Buzzrock is just destroying everything. Obviously, you had Zorark, right? But when Buzzrock was just dominating, I was like, it, it, it felt a bit scarce. Like, there was not much going on, if you know what I mean. Right, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit here. Let's drop these two down. And hope we get the whimsical. We only have one. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I, I hope... Huh? Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it just... <laughs> you can't attach it to non-evolution. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, that could have been such a big deal. Oh, no. We got it as well. Oh, stop it. Oh, I just feel... Oh, I feel... I feel disgusting. <laughs> that is bad. That is bad. I just made a big misplay there. Oh, Yikes. Can the coin flip be on our favor? Can the coin flips be on our favor? Coin flips are never on my favor. Zygarde Jex is going to be the sleeper, huh? Yeah, it's going to be good, but not like artillery. The weakness in losing two prizes won't allow it to be. That's true. It's, um, it's going to be good, but not busted. Naganado GX from Unified Mind is busted good. What, the one that does uh, draw, draw support for um, thingy? Beast Box. I think Beast Box is genuinely in for a, a... I'd say it would be a tier 2 post rotation because you have an ultra space to search out and stuff and that's going to be pretty cool. And you can still use the original Naganado for its GX attack to reset prizes which is so critical with triple acceleration. I read some new expansion tournament. Are you going in? No, I don't actually join too many, too many tournaments actually. Um, I don't know what Savali's GX attack does actually. Not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Just GX? Did I did I misplay? Did I misplay? I hope I didn't misplay. <laughs> we got we get dolls. Dolls. What's dolls? Edward, let me know. I have no idea. See my, my, my knowledge on the current the, the post rotation format isn't really as up to par as it should be. I really should take a bit more time to look into that stuff. What's going on? Hax is in chat above Sean. See, this is weird. Seeing Sean, there's two Seans now. <laughs> it's all over the place. Okay. That's a victory. No, it's not. Don't speak too soon. I think we need so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We need a couple more. We need like a DC or something. Do we even have that in the deck? <gasps> we have a chance to win. Okay. Let's make moves. Let's make moves. We out here. We're going to be making moves. Bam. All right. Odds of this paying off are slim, but we will get it. No, we don't. That's a shame. All right. Sometimes it is what it be, but that's okay. Oh, wait. Sometimes I, I'm just an idiot. I forgot there's the 10 plus time. <laughs> um, oh, don't they have... Yeah, well, there's... I saw something about a, a, a sub... A, a sub Pokemon card coming out, like a trainer card. I saw something about that. Do I play IRL? I wish I could. I wish I could, Sean. I wish I could. I should take some time to look at the recent news on Poker Beach before ending the stream. All in, we are info hunters. <laughs> as soon as we find out something coming out. <laughs> yeah. 30 HP trainers that don't count as prize. Yeah, I thought so. So Valley has the same uh, GX attack as the new Ninetales GX. Oh, really? So it KOs... That's crazy. So just KO's Ultra Beast. That's busted. Right. Should we log on to Poker Beach? Should we do that? 
So the thing is, I haven't got something set up to allow you guys to see my my main screen, so I might have to just do that a second. Hang on. What's going on on Poker Beach? All right, let's look at some stuff, shall we? Let's let's look at some bits. Let's look at some bits and bobs. Yeah, I'll try and uh, it would probably take me two seconds to figure this out. So I think I might just do display capture, right? And turn off this. You guys can see, right? Although I'd have to keep the chat so I can see what you guys are saying still up here, yeah? So like that. And I can see what you guys are saying. Right. I think this is right. It's all looking good for you guys. Let me just double check. Let me just move this stuff out of the way. There we are. There we go. Right. All's good, right? Let's look at some news then. So this is R2. What is this? I think I saw something about this on... I saw it like on a thumbnail on PTCG Radio. So... Psychic HP, AT, Stage 1, blah, blah, blah. Your opponent's active is now confused. Nothing special. Put damage coming your opponent's... Just... Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. No. The life drain. Flip a, oh, flip a coin. Ah, oh, really? Come on. If it wasn't flip a coin, that would have been busted. It's looking all right, but like the flip a coin is a bit of a pain in, pain in the backside. Is the Victini rotating? Because if it is, then yikes. But if it's not, then that's something. But if you can, if you can go ahead and just basically throw um, all damage. It's pretty much Raticate's attack, isn't it, really? Uh, spell tag would just, oh, that'd be busted. Um... Trying to punish him would be busted as well with that. But coin flip, damn. Read the best one. I don't even know what the best one is, to be honest with you. After playing this card, first time you flip a coin for the effect of a, of, of a trainer card, an ability, or an attack during this turn, you may choose the results. Oh. Ha! <laughs> ah, ha! You guys! <laughs> Oh my god, Jamasha, I hope I'm saying your name right. And then he reads Will. <laughs> you just predicted the future. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> We're 10 seconds away from the aha moment. <laughs> oh, I feel like an idiot. I feel like a genuine idiot. Aha! <laughs> oh my god, okay. That changes it up. That changes it up a lot. Oh God, okay. Right, let's, let's, let's hypothesize after my idiocy. Let me try and redeem myself. <laughs> oh God. Okay, all right, all right, shush, calm down. All right, look, listen, listen. <laughs> oh God, right. So, Zartu, you play Zartu, you have to play with Malamar, right, to really get an effective use of that attack. Um, and if you play with Malamar and you're playing Will, which I'm assuming you want to play four of, you're going to need to play some sort of draw support. So something like Zeb Striker, right? Or you can do things like, um, what's it called? Marsh Shadow. No, it's rotating. Uh, yeah, because if you're playing, my opinion is a deck's not really going to work well if you're playing a supporter like this that doesn't, um, allow you to have some sort of draw. Maybe the Den AGX would be a good idea. Pokemon catcher scoop up, etc. Yeah, that could be stuff to do to work with. <laughs> we all had the same reaction. Um, it brings him to 10 HP, but it would be a KO with Shrine or with um, Spell Tag, which you can play in this deck. So you could play it with the Den AGX, but that means you can't play it with Shrine, really. So there's that. But the thing is, the Den AGX is a lot more searchable with Electromagnetic Radar. Is, am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. I think that's what it's called. I've never used the card. Um, and then in comparison to Zev Striker, but Zev Striker lets you use Shrine, which is going to be a much more consistent way to get the one-hit KOs with the Life Drain attack, right? Exactly. We will have Shrine, but that means you're going to struggle with uh, with playing to Dene. That's that's cool. That's cool. All right, I like that. But I think the, I think the way you want to go with this one is draw support, Malamar, and Zartu, right? That's the way you want to go. Well, I guess you could just go... No, you can't go for Silvalli because... Yeah, GX. Okay, that's interesting. That's dope. 
They've got a new Weavile, huh? Oh, isn't this the Weavile that has dark attack? Dark energy attacks. Search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. That seems like nothing special. It doesn't seem anything special. An evolution card doing that, that doesn't seem anything good. Gatekeepers in that What is this? So is this the new Naganado? I think I saw it, but I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Once during your turn, you may discard an Ultra Beast from your hand if you do draw three cards. So it's pretty much like an Ultra Recon. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. This attack is 170 to one of your opponent's bench. Busted. Okay, that's stupid. Add a card for your opponent's discard pile to their prize cards face down. Oh, okay. You're really going to be doing that, huh? I don't think those cards are going to be used, but I think this Naganado is going to be dope with um, Ultra Beast. Oh, oh Beast, Beast Box, I think it is. If you're feeling manly enough, use it. Yeah, use Hardy's attack without bush bike. <laughs> Risk it for a biscuit. Exactly. Risk it for a biscuit. It's late for you. Yep, it is quite late for me. It is quite late. It is quite late, but I'll be fine. Don't worry. Me and my son have a lion tomorrow if we want one, so we're okay. Yeah, that Weavile's nothing special. That Weavile is nothing special. Dark Box, huh? Someone's updating Dark Box. Rukan Shao. See, I don't want to go through reading all of this. It might take a bit of time, so... Trading several Dream League. Oh, so it's going to be called Dream League. Okay. Yeah, it's good in Beast Box. Um, yeah. Oh, is it, is it 170 anywhere? That's cool. That's cool. Right, so Vile Plume Jex. I think I saw something about this. It can heal itself. It uh, can heal all Pokemon 30 damage each turn. That just... That is stunning. That is just stunning. The, the artwork has just gone up a level. I don't know what it is, but it has seriously gone up a level. It's insane. I genuinely love this artwork. And uh, yeah, I've seen this as well. Like, come on. Pokemon art has never been this incredible before. Right, so what? Are any of you guys going to be playing this Valplume? Big Bloom. Grass Colorless. That's okay. 180 minus. This does 10 less damage to each damage counter on this Pokemon. Yikes. Um, could partner with Venusaur and play Max Potion, but that's just really clunky. Oh, no, Venusaur's rotating. Yikes. Um, allergy Bomb. Your opponent's active like Pokemon is now Poisoned Burn. I guess that could just be a Bench Sitter, right? You can just bench sit and heal each turn. GG End. GG End is the one that's coming out. When? Oh, I forgot they have a full art mimic. You don't know. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, that is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful stuff. Oh, the artwork is amazing. Okay, let's see what this this Empoleon. A new Empoleon. Woo! Okay, I like the colorless attacks. Choose an attack from this Pokemon's previous evolution and use it as its attack. What's this? Um, 80 damage. It's defending Pokemon's base Pokemon and can't attack during the next turn. So you could use that, and I'm assuming... Hey, that's all right. That's okay. You could just throw this into like a... What is that? Why does that artwork look so weird? Oh, <laughs> it looks like his head's falling off. But it's just the back because... Uh, I didn't know Prim Pop had a little cape. Um... Right, so being able to power up a one-turn Mega Sableye and turn to GX and taking three or four prizes with a GX KO. That just sounds busted. I want to love that Vile Plume. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's in Unified Minds, but it, it has Haxorus. Uh, Let me just have to get another Mimikyu card. Listen, if it's for this, I would, I would, I would pay out for that stuff. That looks stunning. This has definitely turned a few heads, hasn't it? This one has turned a few heads. All right, let's talk about this one quickly, right? Let's talk about this bad boy. So once you're in your turn, you may choose up to three support cards from your deck, reveal them and put them into your hand. How can that be utilized? How can that be utilized effectively? I think hats. I think hats is just going to be crazy with this, right? You get, you just get yourself uh, Zora Ninja out or you get yourself a simple um, Rayquaza. You just drop this bad boy, evolve it. Unfortunately, you don't get the use like Miss Magius where you can uh, Dusk Stone to evolve it. But you just drop this bad boy down and just like, yeah, evolve it. Let's just get all three of that, of the, of the, of the hats and then just bang, just bang, play it. That is just consistent, crazy stuff. Also could be played with uh, Lieutenant Surge because if you KO the Magneton, you go behind in prizes. So you could Lieutenant Surge and get two other supporters that you want to play with it. That's good, that's quite consistent. I think that's what it's meant to be. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that Mimikyu art is stunning. We'll get there in a second, definitely. Um, yeah, the Weavile isn't that great, personally. You think the Full Arts are not that good? I think they're pretty good. I think they're cool. 
I think they're fun. Um, right. See, just, oh, just that, them featuring alone, right? The fact that they're just alone featuring characters from the franchise and from the anime and stuff and really mixing it together, it just adds more life to it. You know, it makes it feel a bit more real, which is really cool. Love it. So, Sogaleo Lunala, which is something I'm really looking forward to. I love these, uh, these, these legendaries. Cosmic Burn 230. This Pokemon can't use Cosmic Burn during your next turn. Okay. 200 damage. Right, I've got this. Have you played Lily's Best Efforts? Which I heard is not that great of a card. From your hand during this turn, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage on each of you. Okay, I mean, this seems good, but I think if you're really going to go for Psychic, you're probably better off playing the likes of uh, Mew Mew and then there's the Garchomp Giratina, right? Gir Giratina? I think it is. Which also would be utilizing that better, I think. So. Um. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I've heard this combo is very well with Roxy. We'll get, that to, get to that when we see Roxy. That's pretty decent. What does new Mimikyu do? Discard a support card from your hand and use the effect of that support card as an effect of the attack. That could work, I guess, in uh, the Net GX, but no one's going to really think about that, really. <laughs> Lily is bae. <laughs> Lily's awesome. Lily is awesome. Um, but the artwork, again, is just like just top-notch stuff, man. Top-notch stuff. Like, really... Just, oh, it's just cool. Artist, extra drill. 30 plus damage. If you have three or fewer cards in your deck, this does 150. That's good. That's Isn't that the Hippipaldon? Right? I think that's what it is. <laughs> I think so. Um, 120 damage. Discard the top four cards of your deck. This is a, That's a good card. That's solid. That's solid. That could be something. But again, got to consider the search. Um, I agree that Water Weavile uh, isn't good. I thought this was about the GX Weavile. It's great. The GX Weavile is dope, man. Right, it's going to look fun. I'm missing a crossing with the moon and the sun. Moon and sun? What one? What's that? Ah, this bad boy. This can this can definitely have some stuff. 50 damage. You may discard any number of Pokemon in your hand. The retreat costs are four or more. And this does 50. Yeah, so 50 for each discarded in that way. You could play that with Grovile, man. You could just Grovile and just get a bunch of like high retreat grass Pokemon and just find it every single turn with a bunch of Groviles and just be like, bang, 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 done. Like just hitting tons of damage. That's cool. You can lure bull as well. That's something interesting. That's something you could do. Here's the Silver Ally, guys. Just, ha! What is this art? It's stunning stuff, man. Like, this is beautiful stuff. Genuinely. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Oh, gosh. Weavile GX is really good, but Darkbox isn't ready for the meta just yet. Yeah, it does need more support. It does. I agree. I think searching things out is going to be a bit of an issue and stuff. Now, this one came out a bit, a bit out of left field, although it's crazy. Okay, if none, none of you guys have seen this one. Um, just in case. Thunder Flame Dream. What a stunning name. 90 damage. Discard up to... Sorry, 90 times. Yeah, discard up to 3 in any combination of basic... Uh, fire and lightning energy from your benched Pokemon. Also from bench specifically. This attack does 90 damage for each card you discarded in this way. Welder, Coco, there is just so much you can do. Naganado, this deck has insane potential. It's crazy. The artwork is crazy. You just got N chilling there as well. Like, yo, what up? <laughs> I love that. I didn't even see N. That's like the first time I spotted him. He's just chilling on his shoulder like, yep. <laughs> this reminds me of One Punch Man. This reminds me of One Punch Man. Um, I think it's the first episode where the guy makes his brother like giant and he's on the shoulder. Um, but yeah, that's that's dope. But I was saying like, it, it, I mean, the stats on this card are crazy. Um, but it, I would have liked it to be different Pokemon because we've already seen a Zekrom G a tag team. We've already seen a Reshiram. I want some, I want some variety. But hey, still a dope card. Yeah, Grovile Steelix works perfectly. It's going to be a great deck, I think. Because uh, you can just search out the Groviles. It gives you more room to search out your Steelixes, which is going to be a bit of an issue, but you can deal with that. Reshiram uh, wouldn't be that great without End Resolve. Yeah, End Resolve. Yeah, because I think it's discarded top six and something down that line. This does 170 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you played End Resolve, this does 170 damage to another of your opponent's bench. This this is going to be busted with End Resolve, definitely. Like, this will be a good deck. Plus, you have Mysterious Treasure to search it out. Like, there is so much support behind this one very card. There's Coco, there's Welder, there's Mysterious Treasure, Naganado, and, um, was it End Resolve? Did I, did I say? Yeah, End Resolve. There is so much behind this. This card will be good. I'll guarantee it. It will be good. Um, 
I'm out. Pretty tired. See you later, Angela. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. John Wood, have you been? Have you been in the stream? If this is the first time you spoke, hello. It's not, is it? Max post rotation. Have I just not noticed you? I feel bad. Um, oh yeah, Max post is rotating. Sorry. Yep. Yep. You'd mentioned that. Um, I thought we'd get a, a reprint. A reprint of, of what? Um, hello, Caleb. Uh, I have one punch man tattooed on my leg. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, that, is, that is dope. Right, okay. Another full art, just... Ah, stunning stuff. Stunning stuff. Triple energy, 60 damage, return as Pokemon, and all cards attached with your hand. That's cool. I mean, that's a little... That's nifty. Something crazy. This is the doll, right? So, play this card as if it were a 30 HP basic Pokemon. Any time during your turn for your attack, you may put this card at the bottom of your deck. This card, all the cards attached to it. This card can't retreat. Um, it is if it is knocked out your opponent can't take any prize cards for it you may play as many item cards as you like during your turn obviously this is going to have so many uses man it's just going to sit up there in the active as you're trying to set up take a hit go down you can get it back there's like uses for this man there's going to be so many I can't even think of how many uses there's going to be but I guarantee you there's going to be some creative ways people are going to use this stuff tag potion what is tag potion Tag potion. You ready to speak up? That's fine, John. Obviously, that's perfectly fine, buddy. But it's good to see you. Good to see you along, man. Good to see you at the stream. Um, the fact that you can't play Reshizard and Picarom in a deck with a Pokemon that can't hit KO is just OP. Yeah, you can actually play them all in there, can't you? <laughs> you're just going to have, like, in, in the meta, just... You're going to have Picarom, you're going to have Reshirad, then you're going to have Reshirom with Picarom and with Reshirad and with Mew Mew. It's just going to be crazy tag team stuff. Ah, it's going to be crazy. This, this card is going to have so much behind it. Yep, yep, yep. Clefairy Doll, Oranguru, Or Oranguru Stall, yep. Try and get a bit of Shedinja in there as well. That's mad. That's mad. That's just mad. Um, What is this? Shuffle one Pokemon and one tool. Tool recovery is just... Ah. We haven't seen tool recovery for ages, am I right? I don't even think tool recovery is around when I came about. Tool recovery is just stupid. Tool Drop's going to love it. The Gorgeist deck, which I don't know if that's rotating, actually. Ah, oh, it's a shame, because that would have been fun using that. But man, Shuffling Tool back is really good. That's just stupid. That's going to be a good card. I don't think it'll be a staple, but I think it can go in some decks that might need some tool usage. Like, Spell Tags would be a really good way to reuse that in this type of deck. That's going to be dope. Roxy. Discard two Pokemon cards from your hand. Yep, yep. And draw six. So basically, you could... Well, yeah, draw three for each Pokemon. But use that with Coffin. Busted. Use that with Coffin. That's insane. And Coffin's not going to be hard to search out because of Mysterious Treasure. Just dope. Did someone call me? I think someone called me. No, okay. Um, this card stops sending cards you date. Reveal them. This kind of okay, this is interesting. This is something new. What do you guys think about this one? All right, I'd love to know your thoughts on this one quickly. This card tops seven cards of your deck. Reveal all item cards discarded in this way to your opponent and put them into your hand. That seems crazy. Although it's not draw. Technically it is, but... It heals 50 damage from GX Pokemon. What, Tag Team GX? Thank you, John. I appreciate it. I still need you to send over a recurring request to send those packs. Message you on Discord a while back. Did you? Sorry, man. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so bad at communicating. I can't even accept gifts from people. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get to you, man. I'll get to you. What's your name on Discord? Is it the same? Um, yeah, there's no point in rushing out of people in that deck. No, it'll be its own deck. Um... What up, Solo? How are you? How are you? How are you? The Iron Switch is going to be handy. It's going to be handy. Definitely going to be handy. Pokemon recovery is better since we don't have Stretcher anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's pretty good for Turbo. Yep, I agree. I can't imagine that deck. I don't know why I'm opening my Discord right now. That's not a really good idea. Um, would really need that amount of Turbo for items. I think, I don't know. I think post rotation would be quite a heavy item format, wouldn't you reckon? Let's get that down for now. I do not like clay. No. <laughs> Manama may like clay. Might have been using them wrong. Maybe, but I think the issue with clay is he's a supporter card. So you're kind of getting rid of your supporter for turn, which could be a Guzma or a Cynthia. I like its concept, and I think it's a really, really interesting concept. But we have Jirachi. So now obviously Jirachi's not going to get every single one in 
every single one into your hand, but you can still search out the ideal one by looking at the top five cards of your deck. So you just pick the one you want anyway. So I think Jirachi is just in here and kind of doing a similar job. So I don't think that's going to go too far. Although I really love the concept. Um, end resolve, yeah. Discard the top six cards from your deck. Attach all basic energy cards. Discard in this way to one of your bench dragon Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very good. Very good, very good. Although not draw, um, which is a bit rough. Draw four cards from your deck if you have three or more cards in your hand at the end of the turn. Shuffle. Okay, this is a weird one, man. This is odd. If you have three or more cards in your hand at the end of this turn, shuffle cards into your deck until you have two. That's weird. That is weird. Although it can definitely have some synergy with... Um... Sil Valley. There we go. That took me a few seconds, didn't it? This could have synergy with Sil Valley. So you could draw four cards. And I think it's if you have three or more... Shuffle cards into your deck until you have two. So you can choose what to keep. And then you can just still value them back. Or oh, no, still value stuff back. So there's that. Uh, with the new fishing rod, you can recover the Pokemon you discard. Yep. And it's consistent as well. So it's not lawable. It's not coin flip recovery either. Um, Lily's, Lily's effort is trash. I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say it's trash. But I think it's like, it's not a staple it's not going to go into every deck. It's going to go in very specific decks. So I think obviously you're going to need it with the Lunala deck, which Lunala and Solgaleo, which I don't think will be played. Personally, I don't think it's going to be that great, but I could be wrong. But you can combo it a little bit with Silvalli and see a lot of cards. But at the same time with Silvalli, you're probably just better off playing other stuff at the same time. So there's that. Rosa will appear, but the effect is too blurry to read. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. A lot of cool stuff, man. There's genuinely a lot of interesting things going on here. Genuinely. Unified Minds coming out soon. Oh my god, I can't wait. Isn't it just literally going to be released? Isn't it the first Friday of every month? So we've got the pre-releases now. So wouldn't it be on the second, right? When the set's released. Sometimes they're... Uh, Sometimes they're cards you just don't need in your hand by the, at the end of your turn. That's true. But only grabs two, yeah. But I would still say Jirachi is probably just, again, covering a lot of things there. Nice beat. Do I play any drums? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes, they're, yeah. Um, have you checked Haxorus? No. Let's find Haxorus. I wonder if I can search just... Is it is it going to be Unified Minds, Haxorus? Haxorus, uh, Unified Minds. This one, right? Bababia. Once during turn, before you attack, you may discard any stadium card on play. If you do, attach it to three in any combination of fire and energy cards from your hand. Oh. It says 40 damage. Oh. Oh, that has just got Welder written all over it. That is well done, written all over it. Okay. Oh, spicy stuff, eh? Spicy. You made this card, the stadium card in play. Hmm. And in this in this format, it's like a stadium meta right now. That is dope, actually. You'd have to play a few stadiums yourself to really utilize the ability. Like you could, well, I think the Valor Field's rotating, but Shrine could go in this deck. Um, what else could go in this deck that would really work? Fire, so obviously, um, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. I forgot it's Heat Factory. There we go. You could play Heat Factory. You could even play... I don't know if it's rotating. I don't think it is because it's Ultra Prism, right? You could even play the uh, good old uh, Mount Coronet. Mount Coronet would work very well in this, man. Uh, it should be, but it's still slow. Well, yes. However, you do get the use of Mysterious Treasure. So there's still Search for it, which is good. Um... You're still going to have nine tails to work with, which again is a bit awkward in this kind of deck, but it's still there. Jirachi is okay at getting stuff like uh, Red Candy, so you could use that as well. It will be slow. I will agree it will be slow. Definitely. Um, definitely. Yes, Lance Prism would cheat it into play, I think. Yeah, Lance Prism would get this into play. Definitely. Um, but it's going to be tough because Lance is like... Lance is a bit tough to use, really. Because you have to find it on the turn where something's been knocked out. And if you don't find it on that turn, you need another Pokemon to get knocked out to use it again. It's a bit risky. But you can do it. You can combo this with Volteria, but that seems like it would be a bit too clunky. 
as well. Uh, just too much to pack into one deck. Yeah, I'd be one of those ones where it's going to be quite clunky. But you'd have to... I think if you want to play this effectively, you'd probably have to sacrifice some things that you'd like to play to just improve its consistency. Like, when it comes to stage twos, what's super important is just the setup. Like, getting it out. If you can get it out and make that as consistent as possible, usually it can work very well because most stage twos are designed to be good cards because they're hard to get out. So if you have a good stage two, getting it out is the priority when you build the deck. Um, and then go and obviously maintaining that one biggest issue with stage two is not just setting up but also having follow-up attacks <laughs> you know it's quite quite tough um red candy is still in format yeah it was reprinted i think um that's true every deck struggles with consistency and this will struggle a bit more unfortunately but all the pad would work too yeah all the pack would work definitely um yeah that's the yeah heat, heat factory is good there's a lot there's a lot of stuff you can work with work around with this but yeah elves extra would be good that's true there's definitely a lot of stuff you can do with it as a lot um but i am i would say the stage two of it is a bit of a concern because okay it's, it's very hard to talk about how stage two is going to work post rotation because we don't know how consistent search is going to be post rotation like fully yet some people have got the i've got an idea through testing and stuff but you never know until it happens really um so we have to find out how well search becomes. It's obviously going to be better because you have Mysterious Treasure in that. But Pico and Blacephalon are too good and get set up turn one, two. two. Yep, yep, yeah. Like if if you want a rogue deck, you're going to have to be as fast as the top tier decks are going to be, and that was a lot easier in this format, right? The way standard is now, it's a lot easier to get a quick setup play in in loads of decks, whereas post rotation. <laughs> It's not going to be as easy to get some crazy setups. Yeah. Um, unless you have something that's specifically designed for your deck to help with that. So I'm talking Mysterious Treasure and stuff. So that's, you know, Electromagnetic Radar. You know, there's, there's, there's stuff that certain decks are going to have the benefit of. And I think that's a bit odd because I don't. I think things like Pokemon Search, there shouldn't be advantages in different decks for that. Because as I said, you're just going to limit your format. What you're going to do is you're going to get the format shrinking because there's going to be decks that just don't even though they have search, they don't have as consistent as much search as these other decks. And because search is so important, it's like, again, it's critical. That's why you play four Ultra Ball in every single deck, pretty much. Or well, some people sometimes do three, but I'd always say four. So you play four Ultra Ball in every single deck because search is critical. And if you limit the search in a deck and have an advantage on another, nine times out of ten, the other deck is going to be played all the time, pretty much. That sentence didn't make sense, but hey, I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> what does it evolve from? It evolves from, uh, yeah, the little baby dragon. Oh, question. I don't have PTCGO. Can I make a deck list in the deck list channel in the same format as those ones? I think so, yeah. I don't know what you mean by that, but if you mean basically you can just make your own deck list and throw it in, you can, yeah. Um, yeah, Dragonite, you could you could actually new new Dragonite, that's true, and use its use Dragonite's GX attack to get them out. That's true. Early rotation search is horrible. They're going to have to ease up on us. Yeah, definitely. Like, I am worried that the format's going to go. Let, let me let me go back to the YouTube, uh, the, the Pokemans. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm quite concerned about how the next format's going to go. Um, a little bit concerned, but I'm hopeful that they can. It, well, I'm hopeful that it either works out or um they fix up on it because getting rid of ultra ball <laughs> it's just inexcusable in my opinion like no you don't do that man it's such a critical card to the game you just don't do that you don't do that no way no way right i was gonna play venom off but um i'm not really in the mood to build right now um i only want to play a couple games i think and then i'll finish up so i think i just want to play what could we play that is just built already Ooh, interesting. I want to try Rayquaza. Or should we do the uh, crazy Greninja deck? Greninja Zorark. Come to the regional in Kern. I wish. I wish, Lucas. Also, hello. <laughs> Andy Tracy, hello. Don't know if I've seen you, so hello. Um, do you know what I really want to try? Thanks to Andy mentioning that. Mimikyu GX. Why is that card not being played? I'm pretty sure I'm missing something because it looks pretty decent. Um, a few tomb games in it there. Yeah, go on, Edward. Thank you for coming along, man. Thank you for coming along. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's play some Greninja. Ah, no, that's the wrong one. I think that's the wrong deck. I think that's the wrong deck. Oh no. Whoops. I'm on a six win streak. Jesus, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yumi is just way more flexible than Dragonite. Much faster with World Amino. I mean, we all had the same worries last rotation. We had no draw cards, but we worked it out. Well, last rotation, we didn't. It wasn't the case where we had no draw cards. I think the concern was just Sycamore going. That the, the concern was the format was going to slow down, not narrow. They're two different things, I'd say. This is the wrong deck. I'm going to quit. <laughs> I don't care if I'm on a win streak. Yeah, uh, the concern last rotation was the, the, la the lack of good, really good draw support. So what happens is the format slowed down a bit, which it did. It did slow down a bit. Um, but there was a lot of cards that you still could have used. I think there was... Was Sightseer printed at that point? I think it was. Uh, Tate and Liza was printed at that point. So there was other draw cards, just not as effective as Sycamore. But this one, there is like no alternative that can be used in every single deck, you know? Like, you have Cherish Ball, which means GX decks are going to be good, which is great. But that is that gives GX decks an advantage over non-GX decks, which are a very important part of the format. Um so there's that it's just there's there's no consistency throughout the whole format which means it limits creativity as well so it's gonna be very hard to build decks as well that aren't gx because it's gonna be very hard to stand up against them so it's gonna be something to, that's gonna be quite hard to work around i'd say do i have real cards i do have real cards but um not really ones that i i use they're quite they're not they're not old but they're I guess technically they're old. They're like a year old old. So, um, right. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get a game on. Let me get a game on. Let me get a game on. Let's let's get a game out. Right. I wanted to get that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Huh. Right. I think I might just go for. Ah, there it is. Greenwich is alright. Is it this one? I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Maybe it's the one. No, it's not that one. Is it this one? Oh, didn't I have one with Naganadal? I think it was this one. Let's give it a shout. Let's give this a shout. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. No, 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 no. It was it was a Z. It had Porygon Z in it. Oh god, I scroll forever. Gosh. Red challenge, yeah, I'm not a big fan of red challenge. I don't think it's that good, but it's still something that could be teched, I think. Jeja and Brooding Forest. Okay, where is it? Sora Ninjas, there it is. There it is. Here we go. All right, let's play this bad boy. Close your eyes to pick a random deck. Oh, don't. You'd have. I, what I'd end up picking is probably some underdeveloped deck that I was testing and was like, let me just clone this deck and then make sure I don't lose my progress because that's what I do. No, if I close my eyes, I'd, I'd have a terrible deck. I guarantee you. Mewmew um, is pretty good in. Uh, Red's pretty good in Mewmew, is it? Because a good portion of your time, you need only one card for your next attack. You reckon? But wouldn't it be better playing something like. Oh, wait, no, you can't play Greens. <laughs> Um, ha, Lucas, I wish I could come to comment. It is a bit too expensive, buddy. It is a bit too expensive. Um, so many decks don't. I have too many decks. I think right now, playable decks that I have on standard, about 350 odd. Like, I have that many decks I can just play straight off the bat. Um, I need to start deleting stuff. Because what I do is I make a deck and then I'm like, yeah, cool, done. That's a pretty good deck. I like that. Leave it as next video. And obviously, if I'm doing videos every day of the week, five days a week, you know, you're going to be making a lot of a lot of stuff. I think 20 decks a, a month. So you're just building that up constantly through time. And then obviously, I'm making decks. Um, I can make multiple decks at the same time, you know, and go, oh, that's cool. And then some don't, some don't work out very well, so I don't upload them, but I just keep them there. I'm just not very organized. <laughs> so I have a ton of decks that are just there. So, right. Let's do the Vault Picks. The Marshadow we only need in Picaron matches. Or Zorak matches. Frostlass to Ginger, does it? Right. Let's get the bad boy at. 
I see four. I see this bad boy. So I think, oh, Scooby Doo. Oh Lord. Oh, we're gonna get destroyed by Weavile. Hmm. Tough. It's Weavile. We don't need the Marshallow, right? I hope. Oh Lord. Uh, why and how regarding Spiritomb can hit those numbers, Frostlass couldn't. Hustle Bell. On non fire stuff. Right, um Let me let me do this quickly. What do I put down? Probably another one of these? No, another Porygon, right? Yeah. We want to Z next turn. All right, yeah. What are you guys on about? What are you guys on about? Hustle Belt is broken. Drach gets you set up. Oh, are you guys talking about a Spiritomb deck? What, Spiritomb Shadinda? Shadinda. Shadinda. Why can't I say that? Shadinja. There we go. That's interesting. But then if you're playing Shadinja, you can't play Hustle Belt, right? Unless you're just talking about a straight Spiritomb list. One nice thing is that our standard deck screen will be totally empty. <laughs> Come in if I mind. True. Very true. Just <laughs> like a complete refresh. <laughs> okay, so you're saying the immunity Reshirad uh, uh, is good. I agree. What other attackers are in your deck besides Reshirad? Reshirad box is good. Wait, so are you talking about a Mew Mew box? Or... I'm not sure what you're on about, mate, to be honest with ya. Oh, what's this? What is this? Why did I switch screen? Am I an, am I an idiot? I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. Right. Nathan, hello. Thank you. Thank you for your donation. Uh, $2. Love your channel. Can you shout out my son, Cooper? Cooper! Hello. <laughs> shout outs. Is that how you do shout outs? <laughs> I don't know. Shout out to you, somebody. Um... I hope he is well. But yeah, thank you for the uh, the $2 donation, buddy. I appreciate that. I genuinely do. Um, and I hope you are well yourself. Right. Let's make a move. We're out here making moves. Right. That's what, that's what we need, right? No, I don't need that. Oh, God, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Dragonite GX, Altero GX, uh, Venomoth GX, Greninja GX, both. Nagan Energy is new and Rainbow Energy. What is this? Oh, you're saying this is what can be used by um, Mew Mew, huh? Shedinja. <laughs> Shedinja, yes. Shedinja. <laughs> I, I always go shel, I, Shedinja. That's what I end up saying a lot. Shedinja. <laughs> Sheshinja, oh my god. I think Shedinja was is, is really under, underrated. God, I think I'm just getting tired. My speed, my, my language is just going... Ugh. Oh! Oh, what is this? What the heck is this then? My level of intrigue has increased. <laughs> is this uh? Are we playing a... Zora Ninja? Really? Oh! Okay, well, they're also going to come up. We're going to just... Smack down that bad boy Lele and just go in. Just go in. Just go in. Are you only the ones you, you cherish born? Giant Hearth. Giant Hearth? What's that one? Mysterious Treasure to Dene. Man, uh, the, the, the next format is just going to be crazy. Genuinely. Genuinely crazy. I'm just going to miss Ultra Ball so much. <laughs> right. Promote this. We could drop the Zebra Aura um, for free retreats. Attach that for turn because that's basic. We need stuff happening right now. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. And this deck is genuinely good. And I don't want it to let me down. So let's go for a Cynthia. Let's go for a Cynthia. See what we get. Anything worthwhile? No, but we're going to go crazy with the Dene. Because I want to KO this thing this turn. <laughs> Although, tell a lie... 50 damage each damage counter. They can KO us next turn. We have to KO it this turn. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Come on. Let's move. 
Energy, 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 energy. Yes! Is it KO? Probably not. Regardless, we are uh, going to put you here. Put you here. Put you here. Right? Is that a KO? I don't know. My mass isn't really that great. It is! Oh yeah, I think we just hit it. I think we just hit it. I think we just done it. Oh, insta quit as well. What are you guys discussing? Are you guys are you guys discussing the um, Mew Mew deck? Because Mew Mew, isn't it? You can you can use the attacks of any GX Pokemon on bench and in discard, right? So it's a better version of the Marshadow, if I'm correct, right? Am I correct on that? And is it specifically GX? Or not? It would be great to get Skyfield. Oh, yeah. Really utilized the Dene. But that card is in the past. And usually nowadays, it's quite rare to get a, like a full-on reprint. Now it's like a lot of the reprints are reworded or something like that, you know. It's usually how it goes. Right, 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 right. Let's go and... This is a bit of an awkward hand. Although we can make moves. We can do stuff with this. We can make moves. Make a move like a movie, right? What are we up against, though? Oh, don't tell me it's Tina Tags. I hate that. I hate playing Tina Tags. <laughs> it's just so consistent, man. I think Tina Tags would be the deck that I really want to play post-rotation. I was like, my, this is a good deck. I'm going to stick with this for now. <laughs> are you off, Dead Maniac? Are you off? If you are, see you later, buddy. Thank you for coming by. Mew Mew can copy any GXs from Bench or Discard. Okay. So, Keldeo. I've heard about this one. I've heard about Keldeo. I forgot what it does, though. I'm going to have to look it up in a second. Um, right, let's get this out here. Let's get this attached. Now, this Frost Rotom can actually... Do some bits in this matchup. So I'm going to sit there and let it do its thing. We're going to go aggressive. We're going to do Dene here. We're going aggro, boy. Aggro town, here we come. The Dene, hopefully hit like a lily or something. Just keep keep the motor rolling like a Motorola. Oh my God, that's such a bad pun. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Dead hand. Kind of bad. Not going to lie. Uh, I'm going out tomorrow, I said. Um, I was going to be up early. Then I said, it's that stupid. Here we go again. Adam, go to bed. Go to bed, buddy. Don't let me be the reason. Keldeo GX next format is uh, is great. I would like to test out Dragonite and Keldeo. So, yeah, I think, I genuinely think Tina Tags would be top three worlds, definitely. I think it's the one rogue would you classify it as a rogue deck i don't know i think the great thing about tina tags is um sky scorching light it is just deadly that is such a deadly attack if you use it right it's insane make a move like a movie yep yeah. um but right, i'll say okay here, here's something guys i'll say my top three i want you guys to say your top three right post rotation what are your top three decks that you think are going to do well mine is as i said many a times picarom reshirad and um tina tags so I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably thinking similar because it seems like that's what everyone is thinking currently. Um, this is kind of a bad hand, not gonna lie. But we just gotta roll with it. This is going down, which is a shame because we can get some good damage out, out there. Where am I from? I'm from London. I am from the UK. I was actually asking this earlier in stream, but there wasn't many of you guys there. But I was wondering what accent I have. I don't know if I have like a specific kind of accent. Uh, Reshirad, Pikram, and Mali. What is Mali? Reshirad, run high power plant. Not many top two decks run power plant. They kind of rely on abilities. Ah. Oh, wow. You're just going to do that to me? For real, dog? Oh, no. This is bad. This is a bad outcome. <laughs> oh, no. Really, man? Why you be like that, dude? Come on. I can't even use this anywhere, really. 
I mean, retreat? Oh, we're screwed. Green's Reshirad. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm quite. Is my camera okay? I don't know if the FPS is right. Who gets turn two when he care of a dragon? Uh, Pika pads, Giratina, and. Pika pads? Ah, yeah, yeah, Pika pads. That's pretty much how it's going to be played, isn't it? Tina tags Pika on and Blounds. Oh, Blounds, yeah. Same as me, yeah. Pika on Reshrod and Ultra Beast. Ah, yes. It's a Beast Box, I think you mean. Maybe we'll see us at regionals in the UK. Oh, I'd love to come along to the regionals in the UK. I think there can be one in London, isn't there? I know there's one in the Excel Arena or something, which is what one I go to for Comic Con. So I'd love to join that. Um, all right, let me get this let me get this this game moving because I'm not really I'm really sacrificing the gameplay here. Right. Uh, oh no, it's game over. I just realised that they have KO next turn. Right. I love the Mug Tag Team GX. You should try it. I'd love to try it. I would love to try it, but I'm a, I'm a bit concerned about its a high attack cost, but I guess you can use things like triple acceleration and stuff. I think I have a mark. I'm not going to build it now, but I'm checking. I think I have it. Do I? No, I don't even have it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I think that's going to be it, guys. I think I'm going to leave it at that, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you. I think I'm all played out. And it is getting kind of late. I do need to get some sleep, but... You guys have been genuinely awesome. Like, this has been one of my one of my best streams. Seriously, you guys have been great, and I love the discussion going on as well. You guys really seem to know what you're talking about a lot more than me. So <laughs> maybe some of you guys should start a channel, huh? <laughs> start start contending. Um, no, on a seriously on a serious note, sorry. Uh, you guys have been absolutely awesome, um, and the discussion is just is great. Send me a deck by all means, buddy. I have my Discord. It's in my description of every single YouTube video. Go check that out and you can post it in there. Um, if not, try and send it to me on Twitter or something or find or you can find a way. Um, I don't think people will play Ultra Beast, Ultra Beast too much unknown. Hmm? Uh -huh. Well, yes, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some sleep because I can tell my thought process is starting to slow down. My speech is starting to slur a little bit. I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, no, thank you for the stream. Thank you for coming, John. Thank you, everyone. Seriously, genuinely appreciate it. You guys are genuinely awesome. Uh, don't forget to check this squad. Yep, 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 yep. I agree, I agree. I'll definitely check that out. Thank you for reminding me because I probably would have forgotten. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, guys. Seriously, um, genuinely awesome. And uh, I'll probably stream again soon because this was really fun. Um, yeah, with that said, do take care of yourselves, of course. Um, and uh, Adam, go to bed <laughs> if you're still not. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you to it, man. See you later.